When this woman walked about 12 miles every day to provide for her family, she didn't know she was being followed by a cop. She was a hardworking citizen. What had she done to deserve the officer shadowing her? Stay right here to find out. As early as 3 a.m. every morning, Jaylisa had to travel about four hours, which involved a 12 miles walk to work to and fro. This was because she mistakenly called the wrong location when she was looking for the job. She lived around Rocky Mound, which was very far from where the restaurant was located in Nashville. The tough woman had to endure a difficult routine daily, but she stayed committed to her job. She decided no amount of miles or routines was going to stop her from making sure she provides for herself and her family. Despite her challenges, she remained an enthusiastic worker who got up before the crack of dawn to prepare for work so that she could get to work early enough at the chicken biscuit fast food stores, Bojangles. She didn't care much about the weather or the distance. All she thought about was how she could cater for her family and she would walk in the rain or sunshine to work. Jay Lisa was not just a hard-working woman, but a humble one too. It was during one of her early morning commutes to work that she met an officer. On this day in 2018, it was raining heavily. She was battered by the rain and was particularly cold. The contented woman felt sad as she looked at the warm cars that passed by her. You could just imagine what was going through her mind. However, the woman from North Carolina persevered despite the unfavorable weather conditions she was facing. She continued her journey to her place of work with an umbrella in one hand and a bag in the other. After walking for over an hour, she was already tired and her body was aching badly, but she continued her journey along the sidewalk. J. Lisa caught sight of a car pulling up behind her. She wondered who the person in the car might be. However, she could hardly see through the heavy rainfall and the first thought that came to her mind was that it could be a cop. When she finally discovered it was a police officer, she walked faster as she was anxious about the situation. She thought to herself, am I in trouble? The police officer pulled his car over and asked her to come over to where he was. Jalicia was worried and her heart was racing. She thought to herself that she might have possibly done something wrong for the cop to stop her. She was also concerned this incident would make her late for work. The American thought it would be an awful day for her. Knowing that she had done nothing wrong, she summoned courage and walked confidently towards the officer's car. What she didn't know was that her life was about to take an unexpected turn. Jalicia thought she was headed to the station. Why else would a police officer stop her and tell her to get into his vehicle? Strange, isn't it? The North Carolinian was an easygoing and hardworking woman who minded her business and had a positive outlook on life. She believed she had done nothing wrong, but she couldn't stop the negative thoughts creeping into her head either. What she didn't know was that the law enforcement officer's daily routine made him drive past the same route she takes to work. He had been watching her walk to the restaurant for months. However, this morning was particularly different. The policeman saw her walking on the sidewalk while it rained heavily, with the wind blowing violently. Sergeant Bass saw Jalicia in a bad condition and he decided to help the stranger. He had always wanted to talk to her, and this morning was a perfect opportunity for him to do that. The policeman thought to himself that if he didn't talk to her now, he might not get the chance again. Jalicia was thinking of the right words to say if questioned, but she couldn't find any. As she got in front of the cop's car, the deputy sheriff told her his name was Sergeant Scott Bass, and he calmly asked her to get into his car. However, Jalicia was reluctant and told him she would be late for her shift at work. The cop ignored her reply and politely repeated that she should get into his car. The fast food worker was nervous as she did not know what to expect. When she looked closely at the cop's badge, she discovered he was a sheriff in Nash County. She was also worried because the cop didn't say a word to her and she was trying to figure out in her mind where they were headed. She thought to herself that he was taking her to the slammer. Not long after, they were in front of the chicken and biscuit fast food store Bojangles, where she works. She finally realized the officer had seen her struggles and gave her a lift to ease her strenuous walk to work. Can you believe such generosity? Jalicia was so grateful to him. The thoughtful cop had always seen Jalicia walking along the busy road to work. He respected her dedication to work 
regardless of weather conditions or distance, and was touched by her amazing spirit. Now, the amazing thing about Jalicia's story is that it goes beyond just this first lift, which later became frequent. She wasn't only getting a ride from the cop who was now her friend, other sheriffs were now asked to help her as well. I know, it's incredible. This generous police officer thought of how to lessen her burden. He shared her story with his wife, and the both of them figured out a way to help the hardworking lady. It just kind of really weighed on me and bothered me, and every day that I gave her a ride, I just, for some reason, just talked to my wife about her, he said. What he did next would blow your mind as Sergeant Bass went the extra length to give Jalicia a gift. The kind-hearted sheriff contacted Walmart in Nashville and spoke to some of the managers there. He shared the woman's story with them. They were touched by her story and donated a bicycle for her to use rather than trekking. Isn't that amazing? The Nash County deputy also invited Jalicia to his office. She wasn't so worried this time as she knew he had good intentions towards her. Nevertheless, she was anxious because she did not know what he called her for. When she arrived at his office, he took her to the car park. What happened next left Jalicia in tears and she couldn't believe such an act of kindness. He told her that the bicycle she can see in front of her was a gift for her. Jalicia was overwhelmed with emotions. She couldn't believe that a brand new Schwinn Fairhaven women's cruiser bicycle was given to her by the thoughtful deputy sheriff. She was short of words. I was shocked. I didn't think it was real, she said. She was grateful to him and glad she would not have to walk 12 miles every day anymore. The remarkable act of kindness shown by Sergeant Bass restored Delicia's faith in humanity and made her life much better. She no longer had to bother about walking to work every day. The sergeant's gift made such a difference in the time spent traveling on foot. But could the North Carolinian story get even better? The officer and Jalicia shared their story on the internet and millions of people were impressed by their special friendship. Their story went viral and they made the news on various media channels and they also caught the attention of talk show host Steve Harvey. The duo was invited to the studio to share their exceptional story and before they left the show, she got an even bigger surprise. She was given a car. Yes, her own vehicle. Jalicia's inspiring story shows that there are still kind-hearted people in the world. Her story is proof that every little act of kindness can go a long way. Do you have stories of cops who showed an act of kindness? Share with me in the comments. Till next time, stay safe.